For those in the audience getting to know you for the very first time, care to share where you were born? Port Salerno, Florida. And care to share where you were raised as well? Port Salerno, Florida. And still reside in that location today? Nah, nah, I'm moving around, you feel me, today. And what age were you when you officially move out of that area? What age? Uh, yes. Shit. I was in and out of jail, so probably like 22. Now, for those in the audience that aren't familiar with that location, what's the nearest location they may be familiar with? Probably Port St. Lucie, if not Port St. Lucie, Fort Pierce, if not that, Palm Beach. And if not that, Miami? Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Yeah. Now let's say Miami. How far is that of a drive from Miami? About two hours. I don't know how traffic, a lot of traffic. And what about a little bit farther than that, like Orlando or Tampa, for example? Uh, about the same, about two hours north. And care to share where you reside these days? Who you say where I reside? Yes. That's what, I'm just moving around, bro. Got it. I, I, I'm in the wind with it. Now for you, when it came to, and just pronounce that city one more time. What, mine? Yes. Port Salerno, Florida. Port Salerno, Florida. Yeah. Was it a specific part of that area that you uh, grew up in? Nah, Port, like, Port Salerno, that's like, you feel me, that's it. Four, six, out. That's the street, you feel me? Now, what was that really like for you growing up in that location? Motion, money. You know what I'm saying? Who's going to get the most money? Competition. Money fight. Now, during your upbringing there, what was the top point for you? What was your highest point or most positive moment? Highest point, most positive moment. Yes. <laughs> um, I ain't gonna lie, it probably was like, just when the whole when the whole hood had done got a studio, and then we came together and made that happen, you know what I'm saying? Started rapping. And what age or what grade were you in perhaps? <laughs> That was 2019, so I was like, oh, yeah, about 20, son. You know and speaking of age, care to share your current age at this point? I'm 25. I don't know why the, I don't know why the hell they out there talking about I'm 39, 38. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. I'm 25, man. And your birthday while you're at it, the month and the day, perhaps? My shit, August 31st, 1998. Now, on the opposite end of the spectrum, what was the bottom point for you during your upbringing in that area? What was your lowest point or most negative moment for you growing up? I had done uh, had that after, after the studio, you know what I'm saying, got kicked in. I had, uh, I had a warrant, and then, you know, that warrant, once you got that warrant, it'd be hard to grind when you got a warrant. I had a warrant and went to jail, which is, yeah, it's like, oh. Man, my money looking funny, and I went to jail. Shit, crazy. Now, was this county jail, or did you end up going further than that? County jail, and I, I had went, I had went on um, South Florida Reception Center. I was in there for about six months. It was COVID, so shit was fucked up. Yeah. So it could have been a longer uh, time there, if not for COVID, or nah, I spent most of the time in the county jail before I went there, so, yeah. And was that fighting the case or the sentence to the case? Yeah, that was like, they just had you sitting so long, steady pushing your court, ba court date back then, COVID-19. So that was like, they was pushing court dates back three months at a time. So, yeah. Now, what was the end result of that case? I had I ended up getting like 20 months, so probably like 10 months in, and that's when I, they finally came and got me. Uh, and care to share what the charge for that sentence was? Some, some petty shit, like, I, I was on probation for some weed, for some weed and some other shit, so I was on probation, and I, 
I violated that. They told me they had done came and got me to my cell charge. I told me I drove my homeboy to a cell or some crazy shit. That's what they they charged me with it too. So it's great. That shit already over with anyway. Now you mentioned uh, the pandemic of COVID nineteen, but did you ever actually contract COVID nineteen yourself? I ain't I ain't get tested for it. And, and like, like you know, the doctors really tell me I had it, but bitch, I know I had that bitch. I know I had it. That shit, you could feel it. Like it wasn't that normal sick. Like that shit, crazy. And was this something that you actually contracted while you were incarcerated or mm -hmm. outside in the free world? Inside, yeah. Inside, you could feel it, bro. That shit had you weak, cold, hot. I'm to my not like. Flu, like, shit, crazy. How long do you think you experienced those symptoms for? Probably had that for about a week. But we was in South Florida, and we had done a, we was on, like, two, when you first get there, we was on, um, what they call it, uh, what they call it, um, quarantine. So it was, like, two weeks. We just, you straight in the cell. Ain't no going nowhere, 24 hour lockdown. You feel me? I was in there like that. So then it was like, if anybody in there, when they got sick, you better not say you sick or nothing. Like, you just gonna have to wear that because when people come in here and test you, now we going back on quarantine. Can't nobody call their people, no nothing. So it was like, you just had to deal with it, just get over it, basically. And that was single person cell as well. No, nah, no, nah, that was two man cell. Yeah, it was so many people in that bed. Two man. And did you have to wear masks the entire time? Yeah. 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 And prior to you contracting that, again, never tested, but doctors told you you had it. Um, were you vaccinated? No, nah, I ain't never. No, nah, I ain't never seen no doctor. I ain't never seen no doctor. I'm just saying, I know I had it. Got you it. Feel me? Like, I know I felt it, you feel me? But I ain't never get it. Like, oh, a doctor said you had COVID. No. You didn't want to say anything because you didn't want to keep the... Uh, yeah, you ain't want to put the dorm back on quarantine. You feel got me? it. Just for clarification, I apologize yeah. about my uh, facts there. For sure. But... Growing up in Port Salerno, am I pronouncing that right? S Salerno. Salerno, sorry. How were you able to survive that upbringing? There are some that don't make it. Yeah, man. Hey, you got to just swim. You got to get around them sharks, man. Just simple. That's it. Now, there are some people who say things like, don't know if I'll make it to see the age of 18, 21 perhaps. Did you have any of these thoughts yourself growing up in that area? I ain't gonna lie, it's just, yeah, like, the police so fucked up to where it's like, that shit, yeah, I was in a situation, like, it was like, damn, like, I don't know what the fuck, like, what I'm gonna do, like, the rap shit say, man, ain't gonna lie. But, yeah. Was it a specific numeric figure you didn't think you might quite see? Nah, I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say that. I was just like, like, damn, I better make it now, bitch. Uh, I don't know what the fuck gonna happen, you feel me? Knowing what you know now, hypothetically speaking, what would you have said to your younger self back then, if anything? Oh, I wish I would have known, like, just how to, I wish I would have been moving better, like, I wish I would have never caught them felonies, feel me, that, that's what, them felonies. Now, moving better, let's say there's someone in the audience that wants to prevent that from happening themselves. 
anything you would say to them? And of course, circumstances could be different for everybody, but yeah. how can one learn how to move better to prevent getting a felony and things of that nature mm -hmm. to avoid those hurdles that you have crossed once upon a time? Yeah, see, see, I don't know. See, my, like I say, my town is a little different. It's a little smaller, police a little, you know what I'm saying? It's really, ain't too much going on. So they, they really be pressed by little stupid shit, but no, I, me personally, I just tell you to just, you know, keep your little job, you know what I'm saying, do what you do, but, you know, just save your money and make sure you got, you can't catch that felony, bro, whatever you do. If you already know, like, damn, this a felony, or I'm riding with a felony, like, man, just, just chill, you feel me? That shit gonna hurt when you, 21 and you can't even get them gun licenses and shit like that there, you feel me? Yeah. Now, speaking of those felony charges you received, are any of those able to be expunged at some point in your life? Yeah, yeah, but you know, it take you like, they want like seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven years out of you. So, yeah, it ain't been that long for me yet. But all of those charges are able to be expunged. Yeah, I ain't at some got no point. violent, crazy, like no attempted murder, robbery. I ain't got none of that. That shit. No. Now, anything else you want to mention in regards to your upbringing or question you weren't asked, people want to know about that. Zooming out. My, that's really it. 